It's not obvious for a higher education institution that teaching and learning is something that we have to regularly question whether it is, it, it, it is prepared in a, a, a proper way, it is delivered in a proper way and, and it is measured uh, with reliable uh, and uh, uh, meaningful way uh, from which students can learn. And my university, the Corvinus University of Budapest, is really convinced to progress in that area. Uh, we have a, a support uh, institute, uh, the teacher uh, training center, uh, that uh, have dedicated professionals not only to use as a learning uh, ground how to teach uh, teachers, future teachers, uh, economics teachers, uh, but also how to assist colleagues in other uh, disciplinary fields to develop their own on teaching. We put a big emphasis on uh, gradually changing the learning environment, having more interaction with the practicalities, going out of the walls of the university and, uh, and try to put our students into reality and problem-based situations where they can directly apply their, their new knowledge and develop their skills. So everybody says that uh, students have uh, changing uh, capability to survive boring plenary classes uh, but uh, in the same time uh, they are very much ready to partially take part or, or try to participate in working opportunities and collecting uh, experience in the field of uh, the industry or, uh, or business. We think that uh, we have to use the IT technology in any case because students have always online and the lecture should be online as well. So the classical term blended learning is not only the combination of the traditional classroom work and e-learning, but also the question of combining electronic tools with the traditional classroom work within the classroom. But also there are many other kind of scenarios of uh, learning. Uh, for example, students can work together in, in a college uh, or dormitory, together working on a project with a client of the university. So there are so many great opportunities to have alternatives to the classical frontal teaching and plenary sessions and smaller, more interactive uh, seminars. We have a big uh, uh, program also uh, having financial uh, resources partly co-financed by the European Union and uh, this is especially uh, to improve to certain uh, areas the, the quality of the training programs also increasing the, the duality so partly organizing the training uh, in cooperation with companies or uh, external business players. The change has transformation costs and uh, teachers have to be rewarded due to their, their uh, enormous um, efforts to change and, and to arrive to a higher quality level of, of teaching. The EUA has a stronger interest in learning and teaching than before and also have a stronger network of uh, lecturers or professors and also student, students and organizations who are committed to take part in these efforts. So, so the EUA is more powerful in the area now than, than before and uh, I hope that this will uh, result in a determination, a, a, commit, a strong commitment that the organization would need further institutional capacity development in that field, maintaining the relationship with the experts and taking active role in, uh, in European level uh, programs and, uh, and events.